Some people say fear the man who have nothing to lose, and this is a story of this disgruntled security guard, Alchi Parai Pedraza, who on Monday decided to take matters into his own hands. Today, we're going to talk about this uh, Green Hills hostage uh, drama that led to the hostage of 60 to 70 individuals by a disgruntled security guard in Green Hills. Okay, so this is a very interesting story to me because when I was watching this uh, press conference of this security guard, this reminds me of the Korean hit movie Parasite. Okay, I've watched that movie. It's very. It's not. I'm not really impressed, to be honest with you. Uh, it's not that I have, um, you know, high standard when it comes to movies, but I just appreciate it um, when it comes to its technical, um, you know, aspect, the cin cinematography. It's really good, but when it's, it comes to the story, I'm not really a fan of that type of plot. Okay. So, like I said, this reminds me of the Parasites and movie, and um, Alchi Parai Pedraza reminds me of one of the characters of that uh, hit movie, um, and that is the basement man, okay, who shouted respect before uh, going on in a killing spree, you know, at the end or, or the latter part of the movie or before the end of the movie. So, um, <laughs> In his 20-minute uh, press conference, okay, which is very interesting to me because um, this is one of the very few times that we witness um, a criminal, okay, uh, well, he admitted uh, himself that he committed crimes, so he's technically a criminal, but I really admire him for his courage, yung napakatapang niya. And uh, he's also articulate, okay? Napaka-articulate niya. Um, and um, I almost teared up. I, I got teared up while, you know, watching his speech. I really like it. And um, um, his speech shows that he is fully aware of the consequences of his action, okay? He knew that uh, he would be in violation of the law, especially illegal possession of firearm, um, probably frustrated martyr uh, when he shot uh, one of his superiors twice, according to him. Um, he took hostage 60 to 70 individuals. So he violated a lot of a lot of our loss during that day on Monday. And um, all because he wanted to be heard okay for months he said since December okay he was ignored by his superiors and he believed that he was unceremoniously uh, gotten rid of okay his superiors according to him tried to get rid of him because probably he knew too much okay and because he knew too much they decided to get rid of him by assigning him to a different post or location and he really did not like that he thought that uh, he is a victim of injustice because of that but we're talking of a private security agency. This is not a government, okay? <clears throat> Although the, the V Mall, the mall in Green Hills is involved here because um, he exposed uh, bribery and corruption of, you know, tenants and um, security personnel in that mall, okay? And that's the reason why, according to him, he was probably, uh, was gotten rid of, okay? Gusto nila mawala siya doon. Kasi marami na siyang 
kumbaga nalalaman yan that probably he's not joining the flow the flow he's not going through the flow uh hindi siya i don't know i don't know who he is by the way i only know him based on his statement we only know him based on his statements but before that before we get to the story there is this uh video showing that uh the police might have planted something okay to uh pin him down uh a lot of of you know what they call this netizens on facebook on twitter on social media were like alleging that the police may have planted drugs yeah, actually on my um iMovie uh the reason why i use my iMovie when it comes to commentaries or or um a screen recording is because it's easy to toggle from one video to another so uh before we get to a bit of some analysis so there is this uh, footage that was analyzed by some hyper analytic netizens in the philippines now sinasabi nila okay the police might have been planning to do something in the aftermath of the incident to pin this guy down uh mr alchi parai pedraza so here we go this is the end of the press conference his own press conference the media are okay let me just get back there As you can see there's a media beyond beyond the, this line and we have these negotiators probably the i don't know where the mayor is here but probably he's probably on this part okay so um he's done with his speech 20 plus minute minute uh, speech and he, the uh his superiors of that security agency apologize six of them apologize publicly to him for what they've done okay for the injustice so-called injustice that they did to him so this is the latter part of the story in which he was unceremoniously apprehended despite you know surrendering himself to the authorities even as the mayor even as the mayor uh what do you think is my destination after this he said it could be cemetery or jail and he said he said himself uh, he's very articulate like i said he knew that the decision is on himself he's going to be the one to decide okay not the mayor but anyone the decision is on him okay he knows that he'll he'll be the one to decide that he decided you know or he thought or probably um entertained the idea that he wanted to die you know on the spot while being uh videotaped or witnessed by the media and he wanted his comrade okay his fellow security guard to shot him multiple times to to really really rain bullets on him okay and he wanted to die in front of the media that's his decision he said but i don't know what changed his mind okay um and he challenged the mayor um is it jail or is it jail or or cemetery and he said don't fool yourself mayor you don't fool, fool your voters okay what time of plastic and sabi niya uh it's my decision and he decided to surrender himself at, at the end of the day it's not a laughing ma- matter but you know it, i really couldn't help myself chuckle at the idea that after entertaining the the idea that he is going to commit suicide it's actually he's being suicidal here um you know and uh, he decided to surrender himself which is a good thing okay he did the right thing by surrendering himself to the authorities um uh, and he knew the consequences of his actions so let's get to the latter part of the arrest okay so the authorities the police jump on him and some very very critical minded very observant netizens in the philippines notice something okay did they plant something on him let's see okay there you go so the guys were like 
coming near him and then they suddenly run into him to apprehend him. Okay, so others in plain clothes, you know, these are police, police authorities, policemen in plain clothes. Okay, they deliberately had to do it that way in order not to be noticed. But, well, what's the point of it? They could simply have one guy, you know, go go to him because he surrendered his, you know, ammunition or whatever. He had one hand grenade, he said, and a pistol that he used to shot his superior uh, while getting into the mall earlier that day. So, there you go. They had a field day. The media had a field day, literally. And um, there you go. Why do they need to have a lot of people jump on him? This is an overkill, literally. This is literally an overkill. Um, reminds me again of the basement guy of that movie Parasite, okay? Although that this is not exactly the sin, but this is a guy uh, that has lo lost hope. You know, he lost hope and that the only way to achieve justice is to take matters into his own hands. And there you go. Um, that's the end of him. And then let's wait for it. Okay. Let's wait for it. All right. So did the police plant something on him? We don't know, but let's check the video. Alright, so watch, watch this part very closely. Alright, one moment. Okay, so that guy pulled something out of his back pocket. So it's either... Okay, let's check it one more time. Okay, so a lot of people were alleging or some kind of claiming that it could be drugs that was planted on him, but it could be posas, okay? Wedding posas to, okay? To restrain him. We don't know if it's kung posas nga talaga or pwedeng iba yun, di ba? We don't know, so let's check it one more time. So they run into him to tackle him. And like I said, why do it's an overkill? Why do they need to have so much man tackle him? Okay. Okay, so there is a guy in a hoodie. Then he went into him. He went near him. He's like feeling something on his back pocket. So my. Meron siyang kinuha sa kanyang uh, back pocket. I don't know what that is. Kasha ba ang poses doon? Or it could be something in sachet. Oh, uh, yeah, I think it's poses nga. Pwede yung poses. Okay. Could be, could be, it could be it. Could be something else. So a lot of people were, were like overthinking. Oh, they're already planting, planting something on him. To pin him down. Why the hell? But after this, uh, Archie Archie was drug tested. He also went um, on a paraffin test as well, ballistic test. So lat ng test siguro uh, in apply na sa kanya. So I don't know. Uh, no, who knows? Okay, we don't know. Uh, probably let's wait until it turns out that he's he's actually positive on drugs. We don't know, but. Like I said earlier, this this reminds me of the Parasite movie, uh, The Basement Man Who Cried, uh, Respect Before Going on a Killing Spree. So, in that movie, we have this lowly uh, servants, okay? Uh, a family of hoodlums, you know, trying to take over the jobs of that in that, you know, very, very um, modern and uh, really good looking. Uh, mansion. It's not a mansion, but it's definitely, you know, um, 
a one percenter house okay and they were able to uh fill all the jobs that's needed uh there like yung pagiging cook or chef driver uh tutor ng dalawang anak and uh, they plotted the ouster of of the woman the chef the, she's a trusted uh, servant of that house for so many years and meron pala siyang tinatago sa basement okay she was hiding something or someone in the basement which is her husband and um, they were like eating each other and in this case I'll cheap uh, parai Pedraza expose you know people eating each other okay for money just because these people are greedy I don't know but according to Mayor Zamora they're gonna look into this corruption and bribery we hope so um, all I can say is that he knew the consequences of his action and he even said before before I decided to do all this I knew that I was already dead Okay, patay na ako bago ko, nung naisip ko itong idea ito. So, so, it was Christmas time and he lost his job according to him. And he tried to coordinate with his superiors to no avail. Uh, his grievances fell on de- deaf ears. Nothing happened. He was ignored totally. Um, and he felt injustice. Okay, he felt being a victim of injustice. So, he decided to take matters into his own hands. And on that Monday um, morning, he decided to, you know, uh, hostage 60 to 70 individuals. While he was on his way into the mall, he shot his superior twice, okay? But luckily, that man survived his frustrated murder. And uh, he's saying that this is a lesson to the ma- all managements, not just security management, but all private companies the thing about here is that this is a corruption within a private company so uh, it's a lesson for that man- management because well a lot of lowly employees including the superiors were like eating each other in order to keep their posts okay just like the parasite movie okay at the end of the day the story ended in a tragic way okay it's a tragedy and this is the tragedy that we may have, we may face in the future if we continue to have this parasitical culture. So this is probably a lesson for all of us, not just for private companies and security managements, but a lesson for all of us that uh, greed can sometimes lead to misfortune, especially if the people at the lower part of the society felt injustice and they take matters into their own hands like i said at the beginning of this video fear the man who has nothing to lose and as we all know the man who has nothing to lose alchi parai pedraza decided to take matters into his own hands and it, and it, it ended in a tragedy and this is again Tozem, and have a good one to all of you